my YouTube. I wanted to add on to my last video here, my the unveiling of York Crafts. Um, so I just wanted to show you some of the old ones and some of the new ones. So the uh, the new ones, they are these are brand new. I just got them out of the package. If you hadn't seen my last video, and here is one of my old ones. So I think this one's 12 inches. I think, and then this one's like 12 and a half. Uh, I can't remember exactly. Maybe they were the same size and this one just shrunk a little. Yeah, I think they were the same size and this one just shrunk a little. But to give you an idea, I bought these back in June. I had bought these three right here just to kind of try them out, you know. And uh, uh, here are the sizes and everything. Uh, these two are four layers. And then this one is just one. It's, a, it's just a real simple painting liner. I think it's four inches. Uh, but I, I think I bought them back in June, and I have worn these many, many times. I mean, I didn't wear these just one time a day. Uh, there were several times where I had, uh, you know, been super, super heavy because of some health um, problems I had, and I washed them and reused these, you know, three. I think I used this one four or five times one day. Um, because they washed it and um, dried it outside. It was pretty hot back then, so they I was able to dry them on the line. Um, there was this one time where I had to dry them in the dryer. They needed to get dry really quickly, which is not recommended. I think on her site they say don't put in the dryer. Um, on her card here, on the Yurtcraft card, it says... Dry on medium or low heat or hang to dry. Don't use fabric softener. It coats the fibers and makes the pads less absorbent. WinPro, which is the back, the WinPro fleece is the backing, um, does not recommend high heat. It degrades the moisture resistant and quality of the fleece. So one time I had put my stuff in the dryer, just like regular tossing around in there. And I had put it on like medium heat, I think. And my pad, this pad ended up sticking like in the dryer. And so when it came out, it like wasn't as soft anymore. So now it's kind of become, you know, soft again. But, or, you know, more of like a cotton feel. Um, but when I took it out that day, it was kind of a hard feel. <laughs> so what I started doing instead for those days that I just had to dry them you know I needed them and I had to dry them in the dryer I try to dry them outside um, especially since you can get all the staining out when you put them outside if there is any staining left hopefully you don't have any staining but um, if there is any staining left I put them in these mesh bags and I had gotten three of them at the Dollar Tree for a dollar and I had had previous of them I think I had gotten those at Walmart and they were like three bucks ish they're better quality obviously but I had just put them in, in there, the mesh bags in the dryer, and then they seemed to come out just fine. And I air dried them um, one time, and then another time I dried them on low. And that was just because I needed them really quickly. I didn't have time for them to just sit out on the line. Especially like when it's colder outside too, it takes a little while longer for them to dry. For us, cold is like 70 degree weather <laughs> or 60 degree weather. <laughs> uh, so that's what I mean by cold. Obviously, most of you probably live in uh, weather that it gets below freezing and there's ice and you can't put them outside because it will ruin them. <laughs> so there's a little tri tip for the dryer if you can't hang dry them in your house or, you know, you need yours pretty quickly. Uh, but um, I mostly just wanted to show you the quality of these. So like I said before, I used, I've used these several, this one several, several, several times. Um, on some pretty crazy days and they have held up really nice like the stitching is really great on these you can see it really well on this one how it's so there's the liner in there and uh, there and uh, she kind of does this little zigzag thing which I think is cute but it also holds it in there really well and then she does another layer on the outside and then this is sewed as well so they're just, they're sewed really nicely. She, I know she does them on a machine. And then she puts the buttons for the snaps on. They're plastic, which I really like. 
Um, and I, I just get the standard. You can customize those as well. But uh, they've held up really well. They're still really soft. The material's really great still. I know some other... I've seen reviews on other cloth pads. And for yurt craft, they don't... So, some other reviews I've seen, they move around the insides there. Or they bunch up. I have had great results with her stuff. They have just laid in there. Um, and I have overused these things you know what um I have just really I mean there were a few times there where I put this thing on um not even an hour later I had to take it off because it was I was just bleeding so much and I had to switch to you know another one so I had to wash this really quickly and um put it in the dryer to dry you know and um, I then I had to put it back on and then, you know, <laughs> wash this one and do the whole process over again. So I've gotten some really, really good use out of these in a quick turnaround time. Um, and so I can contest that they are awesome. Um, if you can line dry them because that will keep them lasting longer. Um, but if you have to put them in the dryer, then obviously there's the option of the mesh bag. I think that's it. I think that's it. Oh, uh, one of the reasons why I have bought so many of these, like, big ones is because I am, I, like, I bleed in the front here. So when I'm, like, sleep at nighttime, it you know, obviously you're laying on your back, so it goes, like, towards the back there, and I didn't want to have to think about when I'm laying down it, the blood, like, coming back. You know what I mean? Like, before I had had to use a regular um, overnight pad, and then I had also put, like, extra pads at the back when I was sleeping, when I was using disposables and then I also had to put some of them like at the front because then when I would sit up um you know like before I would get to the toilet I would bleed like on the front part and that was with disposables sometimes I have a really heavy period um so I that's why I ordered these really long ones that way I wouldn't have that ever you know I don't bleed like that every day obviously but um, so I don't, I don't have that issue. And then I also got the four absorbencies there because I'm trying to build up my stash. And so I thought it would be great to have one for every night. And then when I'm out during the day, then, you know, that's just what I have. So eventually I want to order like ones. I think they're the nine and a half inch are like my favorite. Uh, and they're about this tall here and I eventually want to order those like in two absorbencies and I think that probably would be perfect for me for like during the day you know to change them out regularly I think they recommend that you should change them like every two hours I think I've heard um and then you know other people say oh just change it when it's full but I think for like sanitary, they recommend like every two hours. Um, I have to change mine more often than that. <laughs> um, but I think so two absorbencies are probably be fine for like every two hours or so. Um, so yeah, so I hope that this helped you. I hope that, uh, um, you know, kind of seeing like a brand new one opposed to one that's been used like several, several times. And seeing too, like you can get these super clean, right? Like there's no stains on these at all. Let's see if I can get this in the light. There's no stains on this at all, you know, especially if you use a stain remover. And I know people scrub theirs. Um, I don't. I just spray the stain remover on there and then I dunk it in the hydrogen peroxide baking soda so the oxygen works for it and kind of gets all that staining out of there and then I just throw mine in the washer like with other clothes that I'm washing um, and then 
like I said, sometimes I have to throw them in the dryer. But if I do have like additional staining, especially on this one that's like super white, if I do have additional staining like after it gets out of the wash, I just make sure it sits in the sun and it gets all of it out. I mean, I'm just so amazed that how great it looks after using it for you know over 10 times I can't even tell you how many times I've used this probably like 20 times probably and it's still really great I expected some pilling on the back of these and they are not pilling at all um, so it's I'm amazed <laughs> I thought that, I don't know, for some reason I just didn't think they'd last this long. Um, so there's your craft. So if you're thinking about investing in pads, um, there are some really great brands out there. Like I said on other videos, shop around, look around, get what you think is best for you. And a lot of places will do custom ordering, uh, which is really, really, really nice. Especially if you're going to order in bulk like I did. Um, so this order here cost me with the 15% off. Uh, for six pads, 12 and a half inches, four absorbencies, they cost me 60, almost $63, and that in is including shipping. Um, so they're not cheap, but, you know, if, if you are trying to be more eco-friendly, if you are wanting something that's better and healthier for your body, um, all those chemicals are obviously not good to be right up against your body or if you have been having like some issues with um you know I don't know what people have issues with um the, like the uh, maybe like getting sores and stuff or to, I've had women tell me that they get that diaper rash in their you know like around their vagina area um I just I don't get that with these some people have get like cuts in their in there um, you know cloth pads are amazing because it lets the airflow better and you don't have those chemicals so up against your body which is really awesome so, I hope you have a great day YouTube and thanks for watching